Hi, it's Steph, your NVH engineer from Siemens. And today I'm going to show you how to do octave plots in a front back graph, which a lot of people probably haven't heard of or seen. So there's a couple different types of graphs we can do when we're trying to get octaves. We have these front backs, which is what most people use. You can create them by just clicking front back up here. Or we have octave graphs. So I've actually populated this to show what an octave graph looks like. You can also create them by clicking up here. One thing I have already is some helicopter sound data that was taken. I've got it in my input basket. I have some octave data. This is the helicopter data I processed into octaves. I'm going to click and drag this on, and you'll notice that it looks really strange to start off. This definitely does not look like this really beautiful octave plot we have here. First thing you can do is you can right-click on the Curve Legend and go to Curve Styles. And we have a couple different options here, but this really important part is the Trace Style. So right now it's in Line Segments. If we go to Block Outlines, it'll look something a little more like Octave Block, which is nice. This isn't quite what we want. You'll notice the scale is really off, and maybe you want to color it. So you can do something else. You can do something called blocks, which is what I'm going to do. So now I have this filled in. I can choose the outline color here. I'm going to pick black just because it's easy. So I've got some nice plots, but this color is pretty strong. <laughs> Nothing overlays with that really well. So I'm going to make a custom color. If you want something green but isn't, like, too green, you can come make a custom color here. I'm going to apply that, and now I have some filled in octave plots. Now if you still think that this doesn't look great and it doesn't look comparative to this octave plot, that's okay, we're going to fix that. Down at the bottom right now the scale on this is linear. We want to right click on that, go to format, and make that octave. So now I've got nice octave looking scale down here. I can even fix that, I know that my first center frequency is about 12 hertz, so I'm going to type in 12. Now I've got a nice centered octave plot. Um, right now this is in real, and I want this to be in dB. So now I can. Now it looks more comparative to this octave plot here. It's in dB. If I click and drag the spectrum over, I can overlay the spectrum on top of the octave plot, which is pretty nice. A lot of people might be thinking, but wait a second, this octave plot has a really nice overall level, and I really like that. How do I get that into my original front back plot, there's a really easy way to do it. I'm just going to right click so you can see that these are pretty much identical. I'm going to add, if you have ever have problems in an octave plot pulling up the cursive men menu, you can hold down control and right click and it'll always pull up this cursor menu. So I'm going to click Y, I want to add a Y cursor. I'm trying to figure out the exact level here. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see exactly where this overall level is. So it seems to be at like 79.08 dB. Now to add that to our octave plot here, I'm going to right click inside the legend, go to options, go over to calculated content, and scroll down to RMS. RMS works basically like an overall level. So I want to make sure I label my units and that it's in dB so it'll be compared to the octave plot. And then my prefix, I'm going to type in RMS. You can type in overall level. I'm going to hit apply. And now you'll see that right next to the plot, it says the RMS value is 79.08 dB. And that's pretty darn close to what we get using the octave plot. So you can change colors. One nice thing about the front back plots compared to the octave plots is if you have a lot of data and you start to overlay multiple octave plots, it can get really messy. It doesn't do like a super great job at overlaying more than two. But you can overlay as many as you'd like on the front back and different types of data as well. So that's just one quick way that you can use your sound data and turn them into octave plots using your front back. So thank you.